You know very well that uh, <coughs> the stroke is a devastating disorder and number one responsible for the acquired handicap. And everybody fears from the stroke because after a stroke without adequate, without appropriate therapy, you will, uh, it will de devastate your health. And the only efficient uh, method is to opening the vessel with uh, chemotherapy like TPA or uh, mechanical thrombectomy. And uh, the brain contains 75% water and any intervention including the thrombolysis and including mechanical thrombectomy is associated with hemorrhagic transformation from ischemia, <coughs> occlusion of the vessel, the <coughs> tissue will be hemorrhagic. It's a very severe problem. It can happen spontaneously, but it can happen after therapy. And you know that it's, it's true that we have to perform CT after the intervention, immediately one day it's mandatory. But what will happen between the first CT and the discharge of the patients from the hospital? If the patient has a silent hemorrhagic transformation, then you can discharge him or her with antithrombotic therapy and it can be dangerous. So the, uh, to know the frequency, the true frequency of the hemorrhagic combination, hemorrhagic complication transformation is a difficult topic. Therefore, we investigated the, uh, the patients who were autopsied after, after the intervention and died in the hospital, how is the true frequency? What kind of parameters can influence the, this complication, this feared complication? And it turned out that um, the patients between the, more patients will have hemorrhagic transformation between the uh, thrombolysis and death than, <clears throat> than during the first day. And we investigated also what kind of parameters can influence can influence this uh, complication. If uh, first, we are, of course, everybody think of uh, that the thrombolysis itself is uh, dangerous, and it resulted in uh, the higher rate of uh, hemorrhagic transformation. But it is not true because the half life of uh, TPA, this drug, is only some minutes. Therefore, the hemorrhagic transformation between the first day and death is caused by other factors, by other uh, unknown factors. We investigate the uh, effect of antithrombotic therapy before the stroke and after the first day, but that we did not find any uh, relation. So our most important finding is the following, that we have to focus, if we have to focus uh, the, <clears throat> uh, the period after, after the first day and discharge, uh, in order to know that which other parameters, glucose, potassium, elevated blood pressure, or some other factor can influence this feared complication. Because if, we, if you know which factor has a bad influence on the outcome, then we can prevent it.